So the workshop itself is based around the idea that uh, the kids are transported back to 1913 and there they have their own typewriter instead of making a Facebook page then they have to make their own profile. So they're encouraged to think creatively about how they can express themselves in words uh, through the typewriters and of course have an awful lot of fun doing it at the time. So we do lots of uh, practice things with the kids on the typewriters, um, doing tongue twisters, getting them to write down funny sentences and then come on and then with their profile page. In 2009 I was working in Prague with students there and we put together a literary journal. Um, I started putting the first issue together in the summer of 2011. I emailed a set group of people. I knew if they all submitted something then we would have an issue and they all did. Our Looking Creature comes out twice a year and each issue has a print run of 100. So we need 50 people to type up their copies each time because we make a carbon copy every time one's typed up. So they're all hand typed and then they're hand bound and normally the front cover is letter press or silk screen. <laughs> the way we brought all these typewriters together is kind of a fun story. We started by in here in Michigan and Ann Arbor going to Kiwanis and other stores finding old typewriters. And then as people got wind of the fact that I was collecting typewriters, I started receiving them in the mail and so the collection has grown from there. Once I put all these typewriters together, most of the year when they're not in typing bee season, they just sit under my couch and I thought it would be fun to, in that period to bring them into schools or other community centers like libraries and uh, let kids type away. And so 826 Michigan was really receptive to the idea when we proposed this workshop last winter and so now we're looking forward to bringing the typewriters to kids. Our students came in and they were so thrilled with the typewriter as a device and the school as a piece of equipment. And they were filling up pages of text, you know, like they were just writing so much and, you know, that coming from students who normally uh, would struggle to, to fill a handwritten page, but on the typewriter it, it just felt more fun, which fits in really well with our mission of the, you know, the workshops program, which is to remind students about how much fun the act of writing can actually be. 826 Michigan offers free creative writing workshops in the evenings and sometimes on weekends, and they're open to any student between the ages of 6 to 18. They are usually broken down into different age groups. What's wonderful about them is that it's this opportunity for um, adults in the community who either are writers, maybe they're engineers, maybe they're business owners or college students, but they have like a passion about something and they can bring it here and we help them turn it into a, a writing class, a writing workshop. And then they just are the most excellent, passionate teachers because they're working with our students about something that they really care about or some cool idea that they've always like had and wanted to try. And then our students like feed off of that energy. Um, so they're working with an adult who is like incredibly excited to be there working with them and they get to experience all these different kinds of writing or writing in a new and exciting way. So we found that um, our workshops and our drop-in writing programs have just had this wonderful impact on students of making them feel like uh, writers, feel empowered in that way. Thank <laughs> you.